I was used to police runs by then. The rule was, as soon as you see them, you run. I'd come close to overdose too. I didn't think it was a big deal. The idea of doing drugs had interested me for a while. I felt like I didn't belong in my group of friends. One Saturday, a guy who I knew from school called me up and asked if I wanted to meet his dealer. Of course, I was really nervous. It was night time and the place was near empty. But you never know. He taught me how to roll a joint, smoke it. It was great. I got really dizzy, disorientated at first, and I nearly got hit by a car. It wore off after a while, and I was really relaxed, and we spent the rest of the day having a good time. The times after that weren't so great. I started getting high more frequently, from once a month to several times a week. The more I did it, the more I realised that marijuana was a sort of escape from my life, and it made me realise how alone I felt and how much it sucks. It came to the point where drugs were the only thing I wanted to do. I borrowed off friends, flaked out on them. I stole money from my parents. They'd hide their wallets and lock their doors. They didn't want to talk to me anymore. Eventually I sunk deeper. I promised myself I would never do dangerous drugs. But hey, I was already smoking and drinking on a daily basis. This went on for about six months until I got called into the principal's office. I thought it was about my drug habits. I was beyond freaking out. Emma, we have a, an area of concern to address. Your grades. I pulled myself together and said I'd been slacking off, but would try my hardest to improve. Mint. I didn't want to get expelled and I didn't want the police to get involved. We'd get deported, my parents would lose their jobs. I would have gone back to drugs if my parents weren't so strict on me. Deep down, I wanted to get better. I needed help, but I didn't know where to turn. In the end, I made some friends. I trusted them and they helped me pull through. My friends gave me support, but we all knew I needed professional help. It's tough getting better. I couldn't have done it alone. It's not something that happens overnight. I'm still trying, but I have the support from my friends and family. They remind me there's hope.